Hey, my name is Peter Chappell. I'm an artist and I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes or so uh, recreating a famous painting by the artist John Constable. It's one of his paintings. Uh, it's called The Hay Wain. Uh, you may recognise it if you see it. And yeah, I'm going to attempt to paint it in, uh, in about 10 minutes. So let's see how it goes. OK, so John Constable the hay wain this is the picture that i'm going to be working from if you can see that um so yeah that's uh, it's an oil painting i've done on canvas the actual size of this is 130 centimeters by 185 centimeters so i'm going to be working on a, a significantly smaller scale uh, than, than the original but you know what you'll you'll get the idea of uh, you'll get the idea of how it's done um, and I just thought, you know, there's these great paintings that we see by the masters and, and I just think, you know, how hard can it be to, to paint something like this? This, this? this can't be that difficult. And I'm going to show you in this video how, how you can grab some paints, grab some paper and you can just create your, your own masterpiece in a very short space of time. So I want this to be short. I want this to be quick. So I'm going to try and do, do this in, in under 10 minutes. So I've got my timer here set to 10 minutes. I'm going to press play on that. It's going to start counting down and I'm going to attempt to completely uh, complete this painting from start to finish in under 10 minutes. Um, just if you want to see the, the original of this painting, you can. It's, it's at the National Gallery in London and that's where you can see the, the original of it. Um, uh, but we're not, I'm not going to work on an original today. This is this is a copy. This is a reproduction, and this is what I'm going to do today on this piece of paper using these paints. So let's have a quick overview of the materials that I'm using. I'm using this uh, cheapo box of watercolors. Uh, you can they're made by Dale Rowney, and you can get hold of them for a couple of quid. Uh, not expensive. Uh, I've got a scrap piece of paper. I've got a palette, I have got a bowl of water, I've got some brushes, uh, I've got a pencil I'm going to be using to sketch it, and I've got a couple of sponges as well. So that's pretty much all you need to complete this painting. Uh, and then th throughout the painting I'll show you some techniques, and I'll talk a bit about the, the, the painting as we go. And uh, yeah, you know, if you've got some paints with you then you know feel free to feel free to join to join me and paint along all right so let's uh, get the timer without any further ado and we'll start that 10 minutes starting from now so what we need to do is first we just need to, to sketch in the horizon line there uh, we've got a house over here a little cottage so that's sort of like there with a chimney <clears throat> and the side of the house is there, a bit of a tree, there's a bit of a roof there, get that right, just sketching in the basic elements of this cottage, just to give me an idea of the proportions. I've got to remember to work fairly quickly because I've only got 10 minutes to do this. So it's going to have to be pretty rapid. There's a little window there. And that goes down there. There's a bit of a beach there. So this is the River Stour, I believe, in Suffolk where Mr. Constable grew up as a boy. There's a little dog here. Just very loosely sketching in the details. Right, and then the far bank of the river over there. And there's a little, there's a little boat there over the far side. Let's get this tree in. There's the distance. Yeah, 
time doesn't allow me to be you know to go into so much detail i've just got to quickly sketch in the the main elements of this painting there's a tree in the on the far side of the river there's another one there just sketching loosely and in a in a free way okay that's pretty good that's a pretty good likeness i've got there already oh yeah and then i've got let's get this cart in the in the water so we've got a wheel there i've got seven minutes left so we're gonna have to be pretty gonna have to speed this up i think i haven't started painting yet and a couple of horses pulling this cart they're gonna go in there okay right that's good um right so we need to start so i've got my brush Let's start with the sky. So we need some blue. I'm just gonna, just for time, I'm just gonna put the blue on the paper, just directly on the paper like that. We haven't got time to be messing around here. So get that in there. A few blue bits of sky there. And then the, there's lots of these billowing clouds. So I'm just using some water to, to spread that around a bit. There we go. I'll leave a few white bits of paper showing through just to give the impression of clouds. I think that's pretty good, really. There we go. Just getting the basic information. Let's get a bit of some reflection, some reflections in the water. Of course, the water reflects the colour of the sky. There we go. Oh, five, gosh. Five minutes, four and a half minutes has gone already. We've only got five minutes to go. Um, right, let's move on to this cottage. So we want a little bit of this yellow ochre. Let's just get it. Let's not waste time by using the palette. Let's just get the paint straight on the, the paper there. I'm gonna get my slightly smaller brush and I'm just gonna paint in the, the roof of this cottage. Yeah, what I really wanna show with this, with this exercise is that it's, it's possible to to paint and not get too caught up with the finished result, but just to enjoy the process. And when I'm teaching art, I always encourage people to, you know, not get so fixated, not get so hung up on the on the end result, but just really focus on the, just enjoying it and you know, just enjoying the process of putting paint to paper, paint to paper. I think too 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 many times we get caught up on the on how the, the finished result looks. Right, I just want to get some shadows in here as well on this cottage as we go down to four minutes left. I'm gonna have to be pretty quick now, I think. Um, let's get a bit of black as well. Just a bit of that on my palette. There we go. Oh. Okay, so mix a bit of this blue and black. Just going to put this, the end of this cottage here in, in a bit of shadow. There we go. On the side of that. If that goes there. Some shadows in the, on the far side of the water here. Apparently, the when this painting, the original painting, was done in 1821, it it wasn't very well received, and it was on display in London. But then, when it was displayed a few years later in Paris, 
It won a it won a gold medal apparently. Right, that's the water done. Oh gosh, we've got two and a half minutes left. Right, we need to get some of these trees in. So we need green for trees. So I'm gonna use this viridian. Oh no, that's the wrong green. Let's get some sap green in. Again, I'm just gonna put the paint directly onto the, the paper here. There we go. Okay, trees, let's go. That's looking pretty good. Really nicely applied there. Let's just paint around these chimneys. We've got two minutes to go. I think we're gonna, I think we'll just about do it. Get the distant trees in there. I right, need to lighten this landscape up a bit, so a bit of yellow. And we'll get that far, the far side of the river bank in as well. There we go, there's our distant trees. We've got some foliage over here. There we go, looking, that's looking good. Just cut around the edge of that cottage. Just some grass in the foreground. Right, let's get some shadows in. We move down to one minute. Right, we're gonna have to be quick now. Right, let's get some of these branches in. Some of these tree trunks and branches. Right, there's a tree trunk there. Oh, 50 seconds to go. I think we'll just about do it. Get this boat in. And the little dog that's here running around. Let's paint the, the horses. There they are. And then the, the cart which is the one wheel there. And there's a couple of guys driving it like that. 30 seconds to go. That's the edge of the car. Then the other wheel there. Put some reflections in the water. A few little bits, some rocks in the foreground. A bit more detail on this, on the cottage. As we move into the last 10 seconds, I just put a few finishing touches in. And I'm pretty happy with that. A few little branches, two seconds to go. I think I'm done. Fantastic, easy as that. So there we go, my version of the Hey Wayne by John Constable. All I need to do now is uh, add my signature. So I'm just going to sign it here in the bottom right corner. Peter J. Chapel, 23. There we go. Um, you know what? I've never I've never sold anything on um, on Etsy before. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to set myself up a little page on on Etsy and try and yeah, I'll, I'll I'll try and sell it. See if anybody wants to buy it. I'm just fiddling around here with a few little details. I just noticed I forgot to forgot to paint that tree in there. So let's just add, add that tree there. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to. I think the danger is with a with a painting is you can do too much and you can spoil it. And I don't want to. I really don't want to spoil what I've done here. So I'm going to use a bit of self control. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to photograph it. And I get. I'm going to get it on Etsy. See if I can get a good price for it. <laughs> 